This is Mark Tobias uh, aboard the uh, MS Rotterdam in the Stockholm, Sweden Harbor. And I'm talking to the communications officer on board. And we're going to take a little tour uh, to show the electronics and all the sophisticated communications. Uh, we're at the almost the top deck of this ship. And uh, Marnik uh, Romaleri is going to give us a uh, tour and talk about all the communications capabilities. So Marnik, uh, we're at one end of the ship now and we're looking at a, a very large uh, satellite dish, dome that covers. Why don't you describe this first and then we'll talk about what we're seeing. Yes, the, this is one of the three big domes that are on top of the ship here at the Rotterdam. Uh, this uh, particular dome is for uh, reception of the television, satellite television reception. Right. We have two of them. One is here in front and we have another one behind the chimneys which you cannot see for right. the moment, but they are identical. Okay. They are from CTEL and there is uh, somebody else, a uh, broadcast uh, technician, is uh, dealing with these. So it's that's a different that's a different facility than MTM yes, in, yes, uh, yes, in yes. Miami. Yes. So yes. MTN handles all the all communications. The communication going and uh, going right. off and on the ship while this is only reception. For television. So they, yeah, for te they are not so sophisticated. Though right. they, in, inside they are the same uh, antennas. Right, right. Yeah, they are the same and, antennas. And this is so, this is how everybody watches ESPN yeah, and CNN. Yeah, CNN and, and uh, all the, the yeah, sports channels, every channel. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's also good to have two. If one is broken, we always have right. at least one satellite right. working. But they are both yeah, working. Yeah, because we would not want to be able to not watch television. Yeah, and not to have CNN. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> desperate people get it. No, desperate, yes. <laughs> and the antenna next to the dish. Uh, the little one. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that's a uh, reception antenna for the radio. In the old days, we had uh, radio and uh, reception, local reception for radio. And on the other side, there is a local antenna for uh, local uh, television. So local but that's AM, not, AM. Yeah, yeah, oh, I AM see. and FM. But that's not. They don't used do that anymore. anymore. No, that was when the ship was built. You see, it's a little bit old. And in '97. How long have you been with the ship? Um, the 2003, I was. And this ship years. was built. In 1997. In 1997. Yeah. Then already they didn't have uh, the, because in the beginning in 97 they didn't have the radomes for the television satellite. Right. Satellite television we didn't right. have. Right. When did you start adding internet uh, capability? It, oh, that was in 2002, just before I came. Uh, I was uh, that's uh, I was radio officer then in those days. But when that satellite came, when they had people could receive their own emails, they didn't need me anymore to transmit the receipt. That was the end of the radio officer job, in fact. That so, was, uh, and the fact is, if if nothing breaks, they still don't need you. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. But uh, <laughs> that's uh, how I have time to stand here with you talking. Yes. As long as they don't beat me, it's okay. That, you know? That's that's exactly <laughs> no right. Problem. And when you yeah. when you grew up in radio, as I did many, yeah. many years ago, we all learned the Morse code. Yes, yes, So yes, do you yes, still yes. know the Morse code? Yeah, I still know it. I of did course. it till 2001. Uh, we, it uh, happened on the Cunard ships uh, that we received and sent uh, emails, uh, Morse code, the telegrams. Actually, on the Cunard, it was the habit of the captain to send an, uh, an uh, telegram for the birthday of the Queen of England. Really? Yeah, I, re I remember I had to send by Morse and the telegram to uh, the Buckingham Palace for the Queen and we received actually a fax with uh, thank you from from the, well, from the Queen from her uh, right. entourage for the wishes for the birthday. I still have a copy of that. I thought that's very special. It was for the captain but I made a copy of that. Okay. That was tradition with Cunard with uh, Morse code. And, and uh, as we're being interrupted by uh, yeah. the uh, ship, cruise, ship cruise director Director. And I remember we when we talked, um, the original frequency that was used 
for all monitoring for distress was 500 kilohertz? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 500 kilohertz. We had eight hour watch. On passenger ships, they had 24 hour watch. So they had to listen to the radio uh, for continuously, but especially in three minute silence period. Uh, three minutes, 50 minutes behind and 50 minutes before the hour. There will be silence on the moors. There will be nobody calling. I just to listen if there is a ship, uh, if you hear an SOS. And do the, you don't still monitor that? No, no, no. We don't even have a radio anymore. Yeah, and that finished in 1992, ships could sail without radio officer. I see. And the 500 kilohertz, which is right below the commercial AM broadcast band, yeah, which yeah. begins at 535, yes, 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 um, yes. that was the frequency that was used by the Titanic? Uh, to radio for help or no, not? No, it was lower. It was around 400 kilohertz or something. I see. Because uh, in the early days, in the, in the in the early 1900s, the higher frequencies were very hard to uh, generate. Right. They, could, uh, they were better. Uh, yeah, because of the power easy. required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The higher, yeah. And now they go even to uh, yeah, VHF, UHF, ultra high frequencies and everything, and uh, yeah, even microwave frequencies of the radars. And everything so they are uh, getting higher and higher right yeah so okay so let's do a tour and let's yeah. just walk down the deck okay and what do we see here first of all there's a long wire but you've told me yeah that's actually not high frequency now no 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 not they, they don't do those long, long wires anymore uh, in the old days that would have been high yeah. frequency yeah yeah there would be an ideal antenna look what the distance it oh yeah be. but uh, those were the days we don't have uh, what we have now you wouldn't believe but the left and the, to the the right you see of the ship you see two long whip antennas yes. that are now the transmission antennas for what for frequency? Uh, the short wave we have two uh, short wave transmitters uh, for case of emergencies that are still very that's the 2182 kilohertz yeah and higher till 16 megahertz right down, for a yeah. very long range yeah yeah very long the high f uh, high frequency range in, fa in fact and they are uh, uh, I test them every every lifeboat drill. They are testing a very good shape and uh, they, yeah. they are working very well. So the, that are the ones in the front. And here, those two here next to that dish uh, round ball are the reception antennas for I see. the HF. And on the 16 megahertz frequency, how far can you talk? You got to be able to oh, talk yeah, around yeah, the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the highest, but only during daytime eh, when you have yes. the sun out. Eh? And the nighttime is uh, the opposite. Then you go down to four megahertz, even two megahertz. So then you can uh, hear uh, very far. Then you sometimes you hear from the other side of the of the world. Uh, but uh, that's now all located in the on the bridge. And uh, navigation officers have these GMDSS cars, and they are supposed to work with it. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, they don't have the practice. Eh? They, 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 mm. they never really work with it. Eh? So do uh, all the ships monitor the emergency? The, yeah, they are the, the automatically. Still, 2182? Uh, no, 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 that's now also uh, finished. Uh, that is now all automatically DSC, uh, digital cell code. Uh, DSC, so the, the machine, the receiver, uh, uh, monitors different frequencies and sequence. He goes to the 2 MHz, 4 MHz, 6 MHz, every band. He listens for a few seconds that, till there comes an uh, automate, automated digital uh, uh, distress or message or something. And you're in contact, and I see there's three, uh, three radar antennas. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah, of which yeah. that are always, or one of which is always moving, the lower one. And then they've shut down the uh, yeah, top the two. Yeah, the higher one. Yeah, the 10 centimeters and uh, the higher one is the 3 centimeters. Right. Uh, that's the, uh, the length of 10 the bigger ones, 10 centimeters. So the, the signal, uh, the wave is longer. So they need a longer... Uh, right. Uh, yeah, it's just so, a regular antenna. Yeah, they go further. The 3 centimeters is uh, for uh, short distance. That's the highest one. And about the, how far, do you know how far out oh, your radar will do? A couple, of few hundred miles? Oh, no, 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 no. 100 miles would be the best. But That's then the, the object must be very big. Eh? A big ship, a little uh, little thing you won't see there. Eh? Now, I noticed when um, last year... 
I was on the Queen Mary. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, traversing the Atlantic twice. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed that we were in very dense fog for about a day and a half. Yeah. About yeah, every exactly. five minutes, the captain was yeah. blowing the, the foghorn. Yeah, yeah. Is that still required under yeah, yeah, international law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still law? do it here too. Yeah, yeah. They we do. were also going to New York up and down. We were in the, the foghorn is the big horn to the right. You see it very close. Yeah. Very good there. That's the huge thing. Then the whole you hear it even till eight, till uh, the whole ship hears it. And does yeah. do, do, are you in contact with other ships in no. your vicinity? You don't talk to them. No, no, mostly the people. Yeah, they are. Uh, they don't talk to. Uh, well, there is so much happening here. You know, there yeah. is. Uh, there, there are also two, three people on the bridge uh, all the time, and they have the phone. They have so. They're always busy with things. They don't. Uh, it's not like on cargo ships that they uh, have, have nothing to do. Yeah, right? nothing yeah. to do. Yeah, that's always. And, uh, and this antenna, this dome here with the two whips. What is that? Yeah, that's the little one. That's a sat uh, sat B. You know, sat after we have satellite. Well, that's a little satellite uh, transmitter. But uh, contrary to the C band, to the internet one, the internet one has that's the big one there. That's my communication satellite has a constant communication signal. It has always a link. There's to always the a carrier. Yeah, there's always a carrier. That's why you can do internet on any moment and you can telephone on any moment. So that's uh, always constant communication. While these little ones, they are the older models. Uh, the, you make the link. You want to fold, right. you, you make the link and then you fold. And when you finish, the link finishes. So you can send an, uh, an uh, email and you can receive an email. But then it's uh, finished. That was a first generation uh, uh, satellite. And they are much smaller. And uh, look, look at Sat B. And that's to the right, we have a similar one, Sat A. So uh, what happens if you lose your satellites, which you do, with really bad weather? Um, I've been on quite a few sh Holland America ships now where all of a sudden we don't have uh, communications. Yeah, yeah, it They're shut down. How how big a problem is it? And is it mainly due to weather? What is it? Or no, turbulent seas or just maintenance? No, it's uh, because uh, satellites, uh, there are several satellites. You're getting out of the footpath, like they right. say. You're getting to the, out of the transmission area of that satellite. The signal weakens because right. it's a beam. The satellite is beaming a signal to a covering signal to the Earth, and if you are uh, in the center, you have very good signal. But if you're going away of it, out out of the beam of the thing, the signal goes uh, lower, and then you have, uh, eventually you lose the sa satellite. Then you have to call. What we have to do we, with the other uh, backup satellite is Sat B that I'm talking. We have a backup. We have two satellites. I'm calling MTN, the company uh, shore site, and they uh, are setting me up their satellite to have uh, coverage on another satellite, mm -hmm. which is more uh, appropriate for our position. That we so you have the capability of readjusting. Yeah, we uh, the to, to change satellites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are always uh, here. There are three of them actually that we can uh, Europe, of course. And is automatic, or do you have to go up and no, manually no, yeah, adjust? Manually it? It's all. Have to oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah, motor yeah, driven, yeah. so you can no, just no, sit no, in no, your. No, uh, the satellite doesn't know well, well, which one he has to take, and also. So you have to take azimuth and uh, declination yeah, readings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and actually yeah. figure out where you're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, then, they say, and then well, look it, at it, signal strength. It uh, it chooses, it, it searches for it itself. You oh, it does. The, the, free, uh, the position of the satellite, uh, and then you do search, and then he searches himself if it has the right uh, course and position which he has by a GPS. How much are you affected? First of all, these are geostationary, geosynchronous orbit satellites. Yeah. So yeah, they're up yeah. 23,000 miles yeah, away. They're always the same position. They're always in the same yeah, position. Yeah, above the equator. So the more you north you go, the lower the elevation. Right. Uh, Alaska is always a problem with the mountains. You know, we're losing it. And the fjords also. Oh, you're really? Losing it. Uh, but here so when you're around Central America, you never have a no, problem. No, no. But we're pretty far north up here right now. Yeah, yeah. The elevation is about 50. Stockholm to, is uh, quite a bit yeah, north. Yeah, Rotterdam is uh, 17. Here it's about 13. Uh, yeah, it's uh, low, but we don't have any mountains, so it's okay. Right, so in yeah. other words, but if you do have mountains, you do have problems. Yeah, yeah, the, the, we're losing it totally. When you're way north or way south. Yeah, yeah, like in the Herangerfjord, which is in Norway, which is a very steep 
mountains that out, then you lose it for the day. So, oh really? Yeah, and do you yeah. lose television also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lose everything. That would be a tragedy for the passengers. Ah, uh, well, we, we, we <laughs> 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 yes, that's true. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah, but they're supposed to go ashore, man, eh? Enjoy your life. Until eh? they're in the Instead middle of the of, ocean. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, a little bit out. It's, uh, yeah, we're laying at anchor there, but then uh, I let the people know that we will be out for the day. Right. So people are... Uh, Ward, but, and there's nothing we can do, eh? we, even uh, <laughs> we and, have to. Eh? And you use a GPS on board, and yeah, we have many, yeah. but it's a commercial yeah. GPS. Yeah. And so, yeah. what is the? Do you know what the accuracy is? The the uh, the fix three meters. Eh? Three meters. Three meters. Uh, it's so it's the highest grade of accuracy. Oh, so yes, basically, yes, ten yes, feet. Yes, yes, yes. They don't use the sextant anymore. The, ship. the sextant. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, yeah. when I interviewed the captain, I was going to ask him whether yeah. they still know how to do that. Yeah, he, oh, he pro- they, they still learn it in school, but they don't practice it. Yeah, well, learning it in school 25 years ago may be a little different. Ah, yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ask him. <laughs> well, you know the problem is everybody gets used to the high technology. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as we were discussing before, the young kids today, yeah, yeah, they know. have no clue. They know how to pick up a handset and no, use a keyboard. No, 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 no. It's, uh, yeah, even uh, transmission and everything. It's so easy to send a telephone. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, shortwave telephone. And, and your phone system routes over MTN. Uh, the normal phone system. The yes, normal yes, phone yes, system. Yes. So you're connected into the, um, the PBX in Seattle. Uh, so you can just talk to them. Uh, uh, no, it's close to MTN is in Miami. Right, but uh, yes, but MTM links then to Seattle. Yeah, then it gets to the normal uh, short, uh, short uh, right. uh, telephone system. So if you have a technical problem, you can get on the phone 24 hours a day yes, with MTN yes, yes. and they'll help you through it. Yeah, yeah, they are very good with that, actually. Yeah, and, uh, they have to, uh, yeah. And I'm assuming you can call any other cruise ship in the fleet if you yes, need to. Yes, we can do, but I never do that. Eh? <laughs> so <laughs> basically... As far as communications, you have not only satellite for internet. Um, it's for everything. For everything. Phone and uh, fax. Well, fax is not so much used anymore. Right. Uh, email is important. Eh? Right. Yeah, email. And and then you also have VHF, which is the International Coast Guard frequencies yeah, yeah, that everybody yeah, uses yeah. in every port and every ship. Yeah. And all the lifeboats also have all yeah. those frequencies. Yeah. Have a, uh, plus yeah. emergency beacons. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 we cannot see it. Either. Right, right. It's just under the So you can talk to the the lifeboats. Yes, 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 yes. And of course, obviously, the tenders, marine, same thing. Yeah, the maritime frequencies. Right. Yeah. And then, is there anything else that you, you? What about aircraft? Can you talk to air? Do you have aircraft frequencies? Yes, yes, we have uh, emergency radios on the bridge. The, so you can talk to air, all, yeah, the, all especially the, 151 uh, megahertz and 300 and something uh, megahertz. Right. That are the emergency uh, aviation. Well, there's 121.5. Yeah. Yeah, that's and about. 243 megahertz. Yeah, oh, he knows that. He looks at that. <laughs> yeah, he's the specialist in that. <laughs> so, so you do have the capability. The bridge does have the capability if yeah. they need to talk to aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the aircraft have also the ability to, to uh, talk on channel 16. Right, on yeah, channel 16, yeah, right? They, uh, yeah, because the, the search and rescue helicopters they have both maritime and navigation. Right. And then each of the each of the um, the lifeboats. Um, have, they have uh, different ELTs or emergency locating transmitter beacons, so they can be found in, in I'm not sure rough about seas. That. No, no, no. They are not. We don't have that so many. We bring them from the bridge. Oh, you do. We, uh, so they're not built in. Yeah, they're not built in. No, no, no. They, uh, we have a couple of them on the on the bridge, which in case of emergency, together with the EPIRP the, and those uh, uh, transponders, we bring them. Oh, right. So I noticed that one of the dishes uh, at the other end of the ship is lower than this dish that I'm looking at right now. Why is that? Is yeah. that because the radar mast as far as blocking and shadowing? Yes, yes, yes. A couple of years ago in the dry dock, they, had, they raised the satellite dish up uh, a couple of meters, which is uh, to avoid uh, radar mast blockage, like they say. Right. You see, the, the radar mast is quite uh, close to the to the satellite dish and if the satellite in the air is right in front of, of us, eh? if uh, 
Uh, but we uh, uh, looking north now, so it's no problem. The satellite right. is south of us. But if it happens that we are uh, looking towards the satellite and the mast is in the way, then we don't have reception or mm -hmm. bad reception. It's all that is very, especially on these high uh, latitudes when the right. satellite dish is below 20 degrees, we can we will. We experience it. It happens. What's your downtime? Is it? I assume it's exceedingly low. Every Holland America cruise, and this is probably the seventh time I've been on one of your ships. It, you really, very, very rarely lose satellite communications. Yeah, yeah. The 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 main downtown is caused by this radar blockage, radar oh, mass blockage. Uh, if we're sailing out of San Diego, it's always a problem because on Hawaii the satellite is right above Hawaii, right. so we're sailing course Hawaii. Then we have the satellite right in front, and then we uh, have to move to another satellite. And then uh, when we we lose, but that's on the edge of the border of America, uh, as one day out in sea, we are losing that American continental satellite and then we have to move over to the Hawaii satellite and then it's just on the border because the closer we get to the satellite the higher the elevation goes the less uh, the radar most is, uh, uh, is uh, disturbing the signal and you have to be a few days out does everything does all the radios run on batteries that are then float charged all the time or is it mains power? No, no, they are 24 volts. Uh, Just like telephone company. Yeah, everything is on 24, the 48 volts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bridge, everything is... Uh, so everything control. is battery backed up. Actually, primary power is battery. Yeah. And then you charge everything from your engine yeah. room for your generators. So if you lose your generators, there's no switch over. The passengers never know it. No, 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 no. Even by uh, the satellite signal, I have huge uh, battery pa uh, power packs, uh, especially for that. If we have an, uh, we have a, a blackout, if we have a blackout, right. the satellite MTN dish runs for another hour. Or so. so you always have radio. Uh, always have radio. <coughs> always have satellite. Yeah. And then they also have, I believe, iridium. Uh, just like I have a satellite phone yeah, with iridium, me. Yeah, that's they carry that. iridium also on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, that we have to. Yeah, that's uh, since a couple of years we have to. So we, in fact, we have three satellites: the C band, the right. uh, big one, then the sub B, uh, and then the iridium. Uh, so basically, uh, the passenger, what the passengers need to know is, it would be exceedingly rare to run out of communications. Totally out. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> totally out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can always contact family. Family can always contact them, and more importantly, the bridge can always talk to Seattle, yeah. to other ships, yeah. and to the Coast Guard. We still have the radio. In case the satellite goes down, the three satellite goes, which is yeah, very unlikely. We still have the radio, shortwave radio. Uh, two of them we have. Uh, so, uh, and then we uh, we have deeper bay. If it's totally if the same ship is sinking, we have an emergency positioning indication right. radio beacon. So that uh, sends out the SOS signal to the satellite. But but there's no way to tap. Did it did da 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 ah, did it did. <laughs> There's no way to do that anymore yeah, on any no, ship. No, they don't have anymore. Uh, they don't uh, even uh, the telex. You used to Coast Guard you used to listen on telex. Uh, telex, the yeah. Telex. Now well, that's don't... gone a long time ago. Yeah, yes, unfortunately too. That was uh, because when when something happens, but it's not emergency. Like somebody jumps overboard or right. goes overboard, and you call the car. You still can. I I used to do that uh, with Kuna. You have a, a printed copy. Right. I have proof. While with the te uh, telephone, you don't have proof what you said. While you have a printed copy, they, uh, you're online. Eh? It's like uh, chatting. Eh? Right. With Telex, uh, used to be with the Coast Guard uh, doing that, but uh, now they they don't have stations anymore. And last question. So is, are your shortwave receivers what we call agile? <clears throat> so you can adjust the frequency from like 1.5 megahertz to 30 megahertz to talk to anybody you want to talk to in the world. If you really need to, can you do that? No. Or are no, you no, fixed no. frequency? They are fixed maritime frequencies. That's why we cannot uh, communicate with... Uh, Ham radio uh, operators yeah, or anybody yeah, else. They sometimes ask me that. We can listen, though. But, we cannot, but you can't uh, talk. Talk, yeah. yeah so yeah, you're yeah. limited to the maritime frequencies yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. on high frequency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have I missed anything asking you? 
<laughs> no, I think you know very much uh, all what I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I, yeah, I, I don't yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah, but yeah. it's uh, it's really been a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, and th- thank you for the tour. Yeah, it's I, great. I, yeah. It's, it's great. It's great to see you again. Yeah, I'm glad I could be of service and uh, share my knowledge a bit about the radio. No, no, I'm sure everybody's going to be interested because nobody gets this view. Of yeah, communications yeah, 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 on board a modern cruise ship. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, they don't know. And, that. and how many cruise ships have you been on? Uh, I'm, I'm for cruise ships. I was first with Cunard, uh, four or five, and now five or six on the whole of America line. Would you say that the Rotterdam is as sophisticated as any of them? And yeah. is all, and is all the fleet the same now on Holland America? Yeah, yeah. As far as communications capability. Yeah, yeah, we are all all the same. Uh, so basically, you can go to any ship and do what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are uh, they are uniform uh, systems and everything on all the ships, so they make that we are able to go to another ship and do the same job right. without starting from zero. Right. No, so yeah, no yeah. problem. It's uh, it's very handy that. <laughs> Marnik, thank you very much. It's, yeah. it's been memorable in Stockholm. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to be uh, online <laughs> again and uh, talk to you again. Yeah. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a good trip. Okay. Bye-bye.